One other thing back to the uh, oil change as it pertains to the oil filter on this Toyota Tundra 2002. It has a V8 4.7 liter engine and the oil filter is a Fram in this case it's a Fram HM3614 it's a high mileage filter that's what I used before they've got a higher level filter now but they didn't have any in stock there at the uh, Walmart anyways so you'll need to have a filter when you buy your oil and you'll need to have a oil filter wrench also there is a kick pan or rock deflector on the bottom of the truck and uh, the oil is going to from the filter is going to drip down into that it's not a big deal it's going to cause a drip in your driveway if you've got it if you if you don't remove the uh, deflector but uh, the Removing the deflector isn't worth it, isn't worth the trouble. Anyway, here's the oil filter wrench. Grab a hold of the item. And you turn the filter to the left. It's broken loose. Now I'm going to Simply remove the oil filter that's on there. Oops. My finger hit the focus. When you do this to don't drop the oil filter. Slip that on my hand. <sighs> yeah, trying to try not to drop the oil filter because it'll spill oil out of it. See it has oil inside it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. But anyways, then you take that out and you take and rub a little oil around the new oil filter. Just a little bit. Doesn't have to be a lot. My hands are slippery now so Wipe them off. Get rid of this thing. Put the new oil filter on. And it gives you instructions on how to install the filter. You have to toy with it a little bit because it's on an angle to make sure it's threaded on there good. What you'll know it's threaded on there properly when it easily threads on. Okay, then you just tighten it down. Just hand tighten it a little bit, just a touch. And then you're supposed to give it a quarter of a turn. We'll follow the instructions. What do the instructions say? Put a little oil on it. Well, let's see. Yeah. Oil gasket tighten three quarters to one turn after the gasket contacts the surface. So I did that. I'm going to do it one more time for demonstration purposes. OK. 
Okay, so I've just made contact right there. So I'm going to give it, hold my thumb down on the top of it, turn it as far as I can, trying to keep a track of my position. I move in my index finger to where my thumb is, and I got half, half a turn on that. So what I'll do is use the oil wrench to give it another little turn. Probably shouldn't have to do this, but I'm going to just do it just a little bit. Have a turn. If you do it too hard, you'll have a hell of a time getting it off. Anyways, that uh, completes this demonstration for those who aren't familiar with it. Remember you don't want to tighten it too tight because if you do you'll have a hell of a time getting it off or the next person will have a hell of a time getting it off. You'll have to hammer a screwdriver through it and turn it that way and it's a pain. That's it. Over and out.